Hello and welcome to Let's Form Italy or Let's Play Sardinia Piemont. And before I unpause the game, I have to talk a bit about uh, Sardinia and Austria, which are two most important countries for this session. So, to form Italy with Sardinia, you need to get Lombardia region, which are those three provinces, I think. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so, and then have all of the other. Italian states in your sphere. However, sometimes you will be able to form Italy much easier if uh, rebels spawn in Luca. So that is one one way to form it, and of course the other way is to become a great power. So, which is maybe a bit harder, but I think it should be faster way to form it really. So now, from the Austrian point of view. Um, Austria is one of the weakest great powers, even I would even go as far as weaker than Ottoman Empire. Although Ant Ottoman Empire is uh, down in tech and they really have no industry, they're really behind everyone, Austria has some huge problems. They're surrounded by France, Prussia, eventually Germany and Russia. All of those great powers can, uh, can beat Austria easily, if not played right. And then, so, for Austria to be strong, you need to you need to get Austro-Hungary. And to form Austro-Hungary, you need Italy and Germany to be formed. So, in multiplayer, you if you're playing Austria, you would perhaps offer a deal to Sardinia, let them take Lombardia, and then leave all of your all of their other course and your course uh, untouched. At least to up to some point. Um, that way you can easily form Austro-Hungary and they can have Italy easier. So if you if you keep keep good relations with Italy, you should have no problems really. And that way France will have a much harder time attacking Austria. So really you will have to deal with Germany and Russia um, if you are ever in a war. So let's start. Uh, game and I'm just gonna balance our budget before we start. Uh, get some taxes, uh, education, go to maximum, administration of course, and tariffs. So let's go. Uh, I'm gonna set a national focus to bureaucrats for the for a few years or months and then go with cultural ideological thought. So that's pretty much it. Mm, speed up a bit. Can we can we get some allies? France maybe. France is usually going to Sphere, so they don't want to ally us at the moment, but we can we can get them later on. Sicily? No. Hm. Okay, so let me check our government type. We're pro military, do we have jingoism? No, we don't have jingoism party. Okay, so let's let's leave it like that. And we are still losing some money. I'm gonna reduce our military budget and then uh, let me check what what kind of ships we have. We have frigates, so we don't really need them because we are not going to fight any any major naval battles for some time. And let's go to trade, get some clippers while we can. Get some 100, I think that should do. Um, the natural expansion of Sardinia is to go for Tunis, uh, which we are going to do right now. After Tunis, we could go for Morocco and Algeria, but then France and Spain usually get those two, so that really depends on them. We'll see how that goes. And let's check our armies. Get a bit. Too much infantry, I think. I'm gonna get rid of some and get some hussars so we can occupy faster. And then get rid of these guys. So, okay, now we need some artillery though. Let's get two and then one more hussar. As for the industry, uh, Italy. I would say that they are better than Spain when it comes to making factories, um, 
but you know, still they're they're no match for France or or Germany or UK. You can you can do quite well if you if you don't have to fight any major wars, and that way you can you can focus on industry and maybe maybe try to um, how should I put it? Well, you know, um, outplay France and Germany that way, getting your industry to explode. But it, it depends really on them, not not that much on that lead player. So let's get these guys here. And really, it doesn't really matter if we have guards or just regular infantry, since we are not going to fight any battles here. Maybe one or two, but most most of all, we are we're going to occupy their their land. Uh, you should be careful, they, they sometimes get into onto Ottoman sphere or just become friendly with them, so Ottomans might interfere. But we can we can deal deal with them. They have few, a larger navy and that might be a problem, but we we should be able to deal with them. Our liter literacy is quite quite high, so that is not a problem, and we should have some decent amount of uh, research points. I'm quite happy with that. Let's get our ships here. And then no. Do I actually want these guys? I don't need them. i make some Corsairs. Uh, we're having a hard time getting luxury clothes, so maybe instead of Corsairs I'm gonna get some Dragoons. As you can see, they don't, don't need... Yeah, I'm actually gonna switch. Both Hussars and Dragoons have Reconnaissance. Uh, although Hussar Reconnaissance is a bit better, but... Still, some Reconnaissance is better than none. And okay, we have our first artillery stack. So... I think I'm going to increase relations with to a Sicily so we can easily sphere them later on. And let's see if France is going to sphere us. They're still friendly with us. But they are slowly sphering us, okay. Once they sphere us, however, we're gonna lose a lot of money. We are going to get much less money from tariffs. Well, that's kind of pain, but... At least we're gonna have an ally. That can protect us. Now sometimes, sometimes not that often, to be honest. France will ally Austria, which is kind of dangerous. Uh, if they join their war later on. But that usually happens in New Nations mod. If you if you watch the Mormons Let's Play, uh, where he played Sardinia Piedmont, that actually happened. But he still managed to to form Italy. In New Nations mod, once you... I don't know, there is some decision that... Uh, I, maybe it's Avanti Italia? Or maybe it's after Cavour Diploma... Nah, I'm not really... I'm not, not too sure. Anyway, uh, to help you form Italy, you get a lot of mobilized troops in uh, Sardinia. Which then... They, they fight for you. Basically, it's like, you know, you send a message to all the pe people of Italy and uh, to rebel and form Italy, and then they they come and fight for you. So you can basically have more armies than Austria. Much easier to form it there. But we are not going to have that. So we'll have to fight them on our own. Which means that we'll have to out-attack them. Which is actually the reason why why you can't really focus on industry that early. And as you can see, we are already, already a military industrial complex. So we have a boost to army tech and industry tech. While, for example, France, I think they're... Uh, yeah. Avant-garde intelligenista, or whatever. So they have minus to industry tech, but they have a bonus to culture, which I think is great, because then you can uh, you can get easily your 
culture text, which which means you can have more research points than others. Early on, did I start justifying a war? Is it done? Yeah, it is. Okay, great. Establish protectorate. Let me check if they are in Ottoman sphere. Or actually, are they friendly? No, but they they are soon to be. So we have to be uh, really quick with this war. Otherwise, we will have to fight Ottomans. And no, I want this guy to lead us arm our armies. Although he is a shitty general, still some general is better than none. So let's get rid of him here and place him there. Mm, I'm gonna also shift some armies there. So okay, let's start landing our armies. And let's go. Hopefully Ottomans won't interfere, but if, we, if they do, we can still win. I'm pretty sure of it. So let's get our armies here. And then actually... Mm, let's go with this. We have our... Okay, Ottomans discredited France, so that is going to help a lot. We have the Casus Belli until July, so we're fine. And actually they can't really... Uh, Ottomans can't interfere, so we can just go. Go for a war. Depending on what other players do, you might want to go for Egypt or even... You can you can even go, go for Ethiopia and make it like a historical campaign. Although they only got it in World War II, but still, you know. That's what Mussolini did. And get some more armies to Tunis so we can finish the war faster. And we are close to 100 bureaucracy in Piemont. So let me check it. Okay, as you can see, the total administration requires you to have uh, one percent of your com your total population to be bureaucrats, at least for the your core states. And then actually, let's get militancy. It doesn't hurt us that much at the moment, as you can see, we now have one percent. Although in Piemont, let me check. No, that was clergymen, so we need bureaucrats. In Piemont it's uh, 1% and then in Sardinia and Savoy we have less, so in total we have 0 0.8. Eventually that will rise up, so we don't have to focus on them, on them that much. So let's switch to soldiers. Do I want to fight them like this? Yeah, we can. I think. Let's see if we can get some better general. Um, well, you know, at least he doesn't have a minus attack, so let's switch. Gonna lose some prestige, though. Not a major hit. Okay, let's go there. And they rolled nine, so we are losing some armies, but not anything serious. We're going to regain people, no problem. Get some more guys here. And I don't want really to fight in, uh, in deserts, so we would lose a lot of men for nothing really. So let's move our ships. Get some more sieges going there. And there we go. How many soldiers do we have? We can mount 11 brigades. Which is okay, I, I think. This is actually only my second time playing Sardinia. I prefer to play Sicily to Sicilies because they, even if you don't form Italy, 
um, you're still going to be at least a secondary power and really close to becoming great power. You can have some great factories in, si in Sicily. As you can see they have sulfur, so which is quite valuable because only only I think France has some let me check actually. Mm. Of course, yeah. France has some Austria has some Belgium of course. Uh United Kingdom and Russia but not that much. Spain has none. Russia I think yeah they have very few. Of course, Netherlands has the most because of Java or Java. But everyone needs them, needs it, so you're in a great, great spot there. Plus two Sicilies. Let's see. Okay, so they have two million population. We we only have, uh, well, almost one million. So they have double our population, which is quite nice. It, it it is a bit harder to form Italy, and sometimes if if you have rebels in Luca, for example, um, Italian Red Guard, or no, is it Red Guard? Um, whatever. Um, so Italy might form without you, and if you accept to call into, uh, well, Italian Confederation or whatever. Um, you might get kicked out of the game, so that is really unfortunate. And that wouldn't be a, such a problem since you can then uh, enter enter the game as Italy, but you will lose all of your tech, and basically that that will be the end of of the game for you, because it will be much. You will lose a lot of time. So that is something you don't want. So if you ever see our rebels uh, spamming in, in Luca or some of the smaller Italian states, you should urge on Austria to clear them so they don't form um, Italy without you. Although it happens once that I, I was able to form Italy for myself as two, two Sicilies, even though rebels spawned in Luca. So that's a tricky one. I'm not sure what figures it, but you know, it's a risky, risky one. I prefer a safe way than to rely on rebels. So better form it myself. They are going to take some attrition here, or actually we are not. As you can see, the supply limit changed once we got there. It was 9 and now it's 12. Or actually no, it was 6, now it, it is 12. Uh, I think we are in French sphere now, yeah. Since we are losing money, that's indicator. So now I'm going to leave tariffs at 100%. At We're going to lose some money for some time, but uh, we should get gold in Sassari sometime soon. And that will fix our money problems. If you're playing a small, smaller nation and then you notice that you're losing a lot of money uh, from some point, that might be because you are in a sphere of great power. That way you will make less or no money uh, from your tariffs, which can hurt your economy seriously. And since we, are, we will have to lower our tariffs, we will then be able to open some factories and there is a piece offer from Tunis. So let's get it. And now we have one more territory. Let's get some naval bases. Cause Austria allied with Spain, okay. So Spain is not a problem. And still no gold in Sassari, which is quite strange. 
since we are already two, ge uh, two years in a, in a game. And let's get, let's get, what do I want? Mm, medicine or army? Let's go with medicine first. Medicine is one of the best uh, techs in the game. As you can see, it boosts your population growth. And then one of the most important ones is that it uh, reduced the minimum life rating by 5%. And that is actually the one thing I forgot in, the, in my pr previous game. <laughs> I don't know why, but somehow I forgot to research medicine. I was uh, focusing on my army tech and then, I don't know. So when the 18th 17th came, th that is the year when you can start the colonization, I actually had, let me, uh, okay, so let me show you. I actually had machine, uh, machine guard ornament and uh, got the colonial neg negotiations, but I didn't have the, the, the thing against malaria. So I couldn't colonize and then all of the Africa was taken. Uh, was quite late. A huge deal though. Uh, kind of unfortunate, but whatever. So now we are making some money at least. Gonna reduce, lower our tariffs and then see if we can... Okay, we can now cut our spending on army. And you know, it's, since we... Let me check if Taza... Yeah, Taza has some gold now. I think they should have one more promise with gold soon. Is anyone justifying a war on Morocco? No. So let's get Taza. Justify the war. Demand concession. Is anyone swearing them? Spain is trying, but they will not do it in time, so this shouldn't be a problem. Let's try to get an alliance with uh, France and first let's see if we can get it with Sicily no they will not accept so let's go with France and now we can actually f make France fight our wars which wouldn't be able uh, we wouldn't be able to do it in multiplayer but here it's quite okay so let me check our production we're producing quite some glass factory, or actually glass. And then we have a lot of fruit, so that means we can get some more wine. Um, let's check our demand. Uh, trade, population need. Okay, so population, our population needs more liquor. And they actually need some wine though. Also, so let's go with a wine factory once we get enough money to make it. Hopefully, that will be soon. Uh, let's move our ships here so we can blockade um, Morocco once the war starts. starts. <laughs> Do we have all of our naval bases? No, let's get one here. And then split our ships. Get four here, I think that's enough. And then we can go here. And one ship here. So that will do. Get military access from France just for later use if we ever need it. And maybe I'm gonna switch to clergyman for for a while so we can get some more research points. And there we go. We can now declare war. Demand Taza. We can call in France, but then They'll probably add a war goal, which will then make us fight a longer war. Actually, 
We don't have enough war score. So let's just call in France. Of course we can deal deal with them on our own, but let's not waste our our armies. And we can actually make some more, as you can see. So that's great. But I would like to get some more money before we do anything. Some liberals. Not France joined the war. Would Papal States? No, we are not the leader, okay. So that makes sense. So what should our next target be? Really, um, the easiest way to form Italy is not to form, not to focus on forming Italy. As much as the, it really sounds strange, but that is really the best way. To form Italy, you need to be be a great power, and you will not become a great power by focusing on Italian states. Like I, I saw a few people going for. Um, for example, if you play Sardinia, you go and take uh, Sicily from two Sicilies, which actually is not that bad, and I did it once myself, but really, it's not worth it. It would be... it would boost your economy like crazy, and you will get your core population, you will then be able to boost, basically, uh, Sicilian economy, rather than having to wait until you form Italy, uh, but it's ultimately it's really not worth it, because you can get uh, a bit of Africa by the time. So our really only concern is to how to become a great power, and that is basically it, so to do it we'll have to fight Austria. We should be able to get some prestige from battles against them. But until then, you just have to focus on research. The problem with Austria is that if you don't allow Italy to form, you won't have Austria-Hungary. And usually Italy will have strong allies, like France or maybe even Russia. So. That means Austria has to focus on military, and if they focus on military, then they will have huge, huge problems in late game. Because they will have no research points, and their industry will suck, and as you can see, they... Let me just show you. Okay, they start with 40, around 40 brigades, which is the same amount, or even less than Prussia. And just check the population of Russia, they have 3.7 million. And then Austria has almost a double population, or more. They have 9 million. So that means they will have, a, have to spend a lot of time uh, having the national focus set on uh, increasing soldiers. And they can only have, I think, 2 or 3 national focuses. Which is really bad. Uh, and that is because they are, they are Austria and not Austria-Hungary. Which means that only South German population or actually Austrian population is counted as core population. Which hurts. Let's speed up a bit. Is France fighting this war at all? 